Hey there, welcome back to High Infidelity, the best channel for cheating stories. Like and subscribe to channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into today's story video. Porno Divorce So this little narrative starts with my wife and I blissfully wedded. We had two great girls, ages 13 and 10, as well as a very stable relationship, so I reasoned. Anyway, things began to seem odd at some point. She became clean to her phone all of a sudden, made sure to disable the stored password option on our shared PC, and claimed to have phone conversations that abruptly stopped as I entered the house slash room. You're probably able to predict what it was. With 15 years of marriage behind us, I was hoping it wasn't what it seemed to be. So when she said she was going to spend some time with the ladies, I decided to go with her. Sure enough, I come across her traveling to a motel to meet with. Let's name him Bob for now. To say that hit me in the stomach was an understatement. I sobbed for an hour and a half straight. After I finished my self-pitying period, I concluded that getting even was the best course of action. I came up with a few scenarios that may or may not have featured me pulverizing Bob. I eventually chose to act more civilly and more crucially, legally, but only barely. So the first step in the strategy was to acquire proof. I could have simply hired a private investigator, but I had something better in mind. So, one day, when my wife was at work and the kids were at school, I put some tiny concealed cameras and microphones that I had purchased. Because of the layout of our bedroom, I was even able to find one with a fantastic view of the bed. I didn't use them when I was at home, though. So a few days pass, and I suggest to my wife that I take the girls on a vacation to unnamed land location, the second to next weekend, and spend the night as well. At this point, I should also note that I was always the primary caretaker since her work was quite demanding and regularly exhausted her, as well as because of our different interests and abilities. I was the one who cooked most of the time, I took a much more active position in parenting the kids and I showed them a lot more patience and care, I didn't pamper them or anything. So going on a vacation with the ladies by myself wasn't all that unusual. This section will also be crucial later on. So two weeks pass, during which time I organize my affairs and call a lawyer to draft a separation agreement in which I retain housing and custody. I go on the vacation, try not to give anything away to the girls, and wait to see whether Bob and my wife fall for it. When I got home, I examined the weekend records and sure enough, it's a 36-hour duck fest. When they weren't dodging, the conversation was much better. I discovered Bob had a wife, but more on her later. Worse, they also spoke about me. And, apart from the normal sexual character assassination about how little my Johnson was, how I didn't please her, and so on, there were some truly cruel things, like her revealing Bob some of my innermost secrets and embarrassing tales that I had only told her about, just so they could laugh. So I had no questions about what to do at this moment. When the kids left the following day, but before my wife did, I confronted her with the film and informed her that until she signs the separation agreement and leaves the home, the girls would be subjected to an in-depth description of all the orifices mommy was dipped into. To be clear, I wasn't going to do that because I love my girls too much, but I placed the threat there and she was too upset to call my bluff. She went through the motions of denying everything, bargaining, threatening me, and becoming enraged. I let it go through all of that. She eventually signed the contract and left that evening after saying her goodbyes to the girls. I didn't show or tell the girls anything explicit. I was always quite honest with them, which is why I was always the preferred parent, so I just said that mother had been unfaithful. My younger took a while to figure it out, but it was compensated for by my older being. Enraged. She just received her first boyfriend, though I'm not sure the phrase actually applies at that age but she understood enough about the world to be irritated. This would be significant in the event of a custody dispute, since even if she did agree to turn up custody for the time being, I worried, and was correct to worry, that she would fight me for the kids. What I didn't anticipate was for her to abuse her visiting privileges by slandering me. Essentially, she began telling my younger sister that it was all my responsibility for not forgiving her. Her lawyer has already begun to urge that she be granted custody. There was no way for her to receive money or the house as she was caught cheating and in my state. That means quite a lot in divorce proceedings. 
so I eventually carried out my nuclear retaliation plan. Consider taking a vacation to South Carolina. What makes South Carolina unique? Simple. Sumter's Fort. I was desperate for my girls to witness it. I definitely did not go there because it is one of the last places where Revenge X movies aren't illegal and where I could upload my wife and Bob's exploits on P-Hub and other such sites without fear of prosecution because you cannot be prosecuted for crimes that were not illegal at the time and place they were committed. To be sure, I emailed the URL to my wife's company, her customers, and everyone in her area of business, as well as Bob's wife and his firm. Bob was shortly divorced. I feel bad for his wife since she was a helpless victim in all of this, but I believe it's better that she found out. For my wife, this meant the end of any hope of obtaining custody. She was shortly sacked from her eight-year employment, and while the revenge movie part was a real carp move that did count in court, it was done in South Carolina. It wasn't illegal or prosecutable, so it could only be used as a minus about my personality. But with my wife unemployed and practically blacklisted in her profession due to being on P-Hub, as well as the girls, or, to put it more accurately, my younger being told what to do by my older, stating they wanted to stay with me, there was no yes, I received no alimony since she was jobless, but honestly, I earn enough money to support both myself and the kids, so I don't mind, plus I'm excellent enough at caring for them, and they're old enough to enable me to work full-time. Several months later, my wife became jobless, however, I'm not sure whether this is due to the movie or the virus. The girls are doing well and don't seem to mind not seeing their mother. My ex-wife and I last corresponded on Facebook, where she told me how I wrecked her life and her relationship with her children, but honestly, I believe she deserved it. Story 2. GF, 33 female, cheated on me, 32 male. Hello everyone, I'm going to rant. Please accept my apologies for any omissions. I discovered my partner had been cheating on me the other day, 32 male. My girlfriend, 33, and I have been dating for a year. For the last several months, our relationship has been rough. Her automobile was repossessed putting a strain on our relationship. One of the latest trends I noticed was that she began to use the phrase my buddy very often. I didn't think much of it when she first began talking about it, but then I realized she has an awful number of pals all of a sudden. I've never been one to look through someone else's phone, but I got a hunch and decided to go through it one day when she was in the shower. Going through her phone, I discovered that she has been seeking attention from a few men. My original thought at the moment was to not say anything and to get out as quickly as possible. I packed my suitcase, dressed, and grabbed everything I could find. She overheard me packing and inquired whether everything was all right. After I didn't respond, she came out of the shower and saw me getting dressed, my bag slung over my shoulder. She attempted to stop me and demanded an explanation. Don't touch me, I said. Let go of my possessions. I'm leaving. What is this about? She said, tears streaming down her cheeks and terror in her eyes. I grabbed her phone, opened the texts, and said, What is this? She pretended she didn't understand what I was saying. Don't play stupid with me, I said angrily. I've read a lot. What exactly is this? I discovered that she has been having an affair with a man from her past. She confessed everything and attempted to minimize it by saying, It happened during a break and it was simply oral. Oh, all right, that's great, I remarked after that. Everything is fine, particularly now that I know how this partnership will function. When you and I encounter problems in the future, I know it's appropriate for me to flirt with other ladies. She broke upset and almost lost it after saying that. I was far calmer than I had expected myself to be if ever placed in this circumstance. She was distressed and pleaded with me to remain. I was at a loss for words, so I told her, no matter what the situation is, there is always a solution. I'm not sure what the answer to this issue is, but there is one. You're going to have to put in a lot of effort to win me back. There have been several possibilities for me to cheat on her in the past, but I have never had the confidence to do so. I'm not sure what to do. I keep telling myself to stay around and watch how she righted this injustice. Part of me wishes I could remain just so I could cheat on her.